The man challenge will determine the two bottom place contestants, who then progress to the elimination round each episode. The challenges are deliberately unconventional, designed to test the boxer's manly ability over a range of skills. Today, the notion of rescue and heroism has been led by the South Narrabeen Surf Lifesaving Club in Man Challenge Number One. We're right on. What a cracker of a day, guys. Where are you guys from? England. England? Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear about that. That's what I'm used to now. And now, have any of you guys spent much time in the water, in the ocean? Yeah, yeah. it's summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it's not too bad. The water will be a bit of a bite when you first get in, but... Um... What I want to know is how you guys are holding up after those sand dunes. Well, his physio <laughs> said that he had a good ass. He did. He <laughs> said you got good glutes. <laughs> Well, strangely enough, guys, we find ourselves from sand to sand, but now we've reached the business end of the competition. And over the coming weeks, you'll be facing a series of man challenges. Now, the two fighters who score the lowest in these man challenges will be facing off to stay in the competition. Now, I've got Andy here from the Surf Life Saving Club. He's going to take you through your first challenge this morning. So, I don't know, Andy, there's nothing more manly than saving a life, is there? That's right, Anna. Uh, welcome to South Narrabeen, guys. So, today, what we're going to do is we're going to start here at the start finish. We're going to move up to the first can there, move to the second can, around to the northern can and back to the start finish. Swim out to the swim cans here that they're setting up. Swim around the southern one first and then move to the northern can where you'll pick up the mannequin. It's a life-size mannequin, weighs 40 kilos dry and 60 to 80 kilos wet and it's been in the water a while. You'll bring him in through the surf zone onto the dry sand and drag the mannequin up and past the start finish line. If at any time you feel like you are in trouble or you don't want to continue, simply put your hand up. Is that all good? Any questions with that? Have any of you done anything like this before? <laughs> your legs are going to be sore. <laughs> Very sore. Guys, we've pulled your names out of a hat. And the first up, it's Renos. Let's bring it on, yeah? Renos. Can I have a redraw of the hat, please? <laughs> okay, well, the secret to this challenge, I think, is not going out hard with the run. A lot of people who aren't swim fit go out hard on the run and they actually hit a wall as soon as they enter the water. They're going to swim out to that first can and look at the next one where the mannequin is and think, how the heck am I going to get there? Take your mark. Set. Okay, so there he is, he's on the can, and he's got the mannequin, okay? Yeah. You see how he's stroking with one arm and he's yeah. utilising his two legs with a breaststroke stroke with his feet. You can actually utilise the waves by getting a wave with the mannequin and bear hugging it. And that'll push you in a few metres. Legs have got to go over, come on, you've got a metre to go, a metre to go, and time! That was hard. When you get in the water, that's hard. Ah, good luck, boys. Going first is never easy, but for Renos Ross, the oldest contestant, the beaten path is never an option. My name's Renos Ross. Uh, I am 57 and I am a winemaker, wine broker. Probably one of the first bulk wine brokers in Australia. I have been involved in the industry for a good 30 years. It's a bit of a, a family tradition. My great-grandfather was a wine merchant in Egypt. I suppose at, uh, at my age, at 57, I feel fitter than I was maybe 20 years ago. Fitness is important. I don't want to fall into a heap, and I think there's too many people over the age of 30 who just decide they don't want to do it anymore. I enjoy jogging barefoot because I really find it uh, it's freeing when you're jogging barefoot. You feel the, the wind and you feel the, the ground underneath you, and uh, it just really feels natural. Look, I do enjoy the finer things in life. I enjoy good food, good wine. My favourite tipple of choice is, in fact, champagne. That's where I do become undone. I, I enjoy everything. I, I, don't, I don't allow myself not to enjoy anything. I think what I can show the younger ones about being a man is how to be comfortable with with enjoying food, wine, art. You can be an athlete and enjoy the finer things in life. You don't have to be a sportsman and be a buff. I, I don't have a problem with competing with guys who are 30 years younger than me because I know that I can do it. 
I've uh, proved it before and uh, I'm sure that I'll be able to keep up with the guys. If not, they can keep up with me. And eight minutes is the time that the rest of the group have to beat to indeed keep up with Renos. I just want to get it over and done with, get this attire off my body. Set. Come on, Luke, let's go, buddy. Come on, mate. Let's go. Oh, Luke, put it in, mate, put it in. He's doing well from a boy from the bush, isn't he? Here comes some setos, boys. This is the man challenge. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Time. Luke has taken three minutes off the lead and Michael Cutting is next. He decides to run his own race following Andy's advice. A strong runner and swimmer, he puts in the fastest performance so far. Hi, big fella. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. So, Anna, you better get ready. Are you next? <laughs> Let's go. go. Puff those legs. Come on. This is a man challenge. Oh, God, get it up. Going. Get it up and over. Come on. Go. Come on. Go, go mate. Come on. Pump it up. Shan just eyeballing when he comes into the breaking zone, mate. That's it. Uh, in the water. Use the water. Duncan and then Alan both go hard at the start, but struggle at the finish. A sign of how physically demanding this challenge is. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Drag it over. Drag it over. You're almost there. Time. Go, Tass. Come on, buddy. Let's go, mate. Let's go. It's Mykonos. It's surrounded by water. Exactly. Suck them up. This is where it's going to hurt. OK, this is where the pain is. It's what the challenge is all about. Put it in. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Time. You did really well, mate. Really surprised. Well done, brother. Well done. We're growing up as a little wog boy around sand and cement. I'm not one with the ocean. The guy's telling me, do, do breaststroke. Do just a little breaststroke straight with your legs. I've never done breaststroke in my life. I had a crack. I watched the Olympics just like everyone. You know, like in a nightmare when someone's chasing you and you're running and it just feels like you're not going anywhere? That's what it was like. I'll say it, mate. I respect those guys. I always have. But for them to do that on a rainy day with big swell. It wasn't fun when you hit the water and the cold hit your chest. I felt like panicking for a second then because I thought I wasn't going to be able to breathe, but the first the lifesaver was saying just it'll, it'll go, it'll go. So got a lot, lot of respect for the guys. You feeling all right? Yeah, that no, was good. Need any oxy or no, anything? No, it wasn't good. What was talking about? It was bad. You can just imagine we're going to drag people in. They hit the beach and they're absolutely knackered. And often it's the rescuer that needs oxy. It's not the hardest thing I've ever done, ever. I've done some hard stuff. It's, hor it's horrible. I can taste salt at the moment. Hey, drink. I think I drank half the ocean. Some of them did really well. Some of them struggled in some circumstances. But overall, I th think very impressed. I think they have learnt what surf lifesavers deal on a daily basis, what sort of fitness we've got to deal with, and what sort of conditions we've got to deal with. Well, well done, guys, and congratulations on completing your first man challenge. Thank you, Andy, for setting it up for us. No worries. Hey. Now, we've taken all of your times, but we're not going to tell you just yet. We'll announce the bottom two when we head to the elimination round. See you all there. Coming up, it's elimination time, and the bottom two go head to head, <laughs> resulting in a firm favourite being sent home.